treatment, you're not even going to hear it, like, I would use, and as you see, many mallets make different sounds, and I bring, so this would be even closer to you, and you would get the harmonies, the harmonics from the different bowls. <laughs> These are, uh, it's a sample of the Himalayan singing bowls. I have many different bowls here. And the bowls that you're looking at are made of several metals um, and uh, basically brass, but with some other things included. In India, that's India, that's Tibet. So what we do, we play different Harmonics, different different bowls create different harmonics. Yeah. And, and so what does that do? So why do we do this? Okay, sounds good. No, not just because of that. Uh, the sound is going to go into the air. Mm -hmm. Everything vibrates. Right. So this vibration, these mm -hmm. are not just sound and harmonics, they're also a vibration. So this vibration goes into everything in the surrounding area goes into your body, into the water in your body, into your DNA, into your bloodstream, into your memory. And whatever is for you, that's what the bowls do. They, they literally adjust your body. I call it harmonizing your essence, the inner part of your body. And you may feel like, I tell people, you may feel like you're falling asleep, you may feel like you're falling over. That's the water in your body. The movement that your body may make or inside of your body, the water inside, whatever these harmonics do for you is going to be different than what they're going to do for somebody else mm -hmm. because we're all unique. So now I'm not doing a, a regular job, a nine to five. I work with my small nonprofit, My Second Breath. And I mostly travel, I travel quite a bit. We have monthly sessions here and in Central Park in the summer oh, nice. that are free. Wow. Yeah, that oh. are free. I, cause, because I don't want, do I'd rather you come. Do you take donations? Yeah, you okay. love donation, but right. I'd rather people come and don't let the money hold you back because right. that's why we're here. We're here to give you a way to breathe your life in a new way. Yeah. The premise behind these bowls are thousands, thousands, like two to three thousand years old. And they do not have a religion. Okay, this is not about religion. This is about sound and harmonics. Mm. And what has happened is these bowls um, have been adapted to be used in a little bit of a different way in the West. Mm -hmm. And everybody has their own style that plays the bowl. So it's what comes to you. And it's almost like the bowl is choosing you. Mm -hmm. So the bowl that resonates with you, mm -hmm. this one resonated highly with me. And you can hear how the sound is a lower sound, a higher sound, and it just keeps on going. So we're gonna um this is a monopori. The various there's various stories with each bowls and we're not gonna do that because we'll be here all day. But <laughs> Just so you hear the different rimming. Yes. So I'm just moving my That's lips. That's amazing. I'm just moving my lips. So you, you can hear that the vibration and the harmonics are being adjusted just by the, the movement up here. And usually when I say that, the bowl, you know, kids, like when we say, oh, watch to see what my kid can do. He can sing beautifully and they won't open their mouth. Right. That's why these bowls are sometimes. 
Really? Yeah. You talked about me. I'm not going to do it. I can actually feel the harmonics on my tongue. The vibration of the harmonics. Yes. I can feel that. But sometimes you can taste the bowl. So, um, I, I don't have a really good wah-wah bowl. That's called the wah-wah. Um, so before we do, we're going to do a little meditation. Um, and what I'm going to do is go right from uh, these bowls, and I'm going to I'm going to incorporate crystal with metal. This is a crystal tetrahedron pyramid. Do it like this, or you can tilt it. This bowl is pretty heavy, so it's not going to fall out of you. Some of the the newer bowls are like um, so. Yeah, and and you're gonna you, yeah, right. That's that's nice. Right, that's good. So you just go around the side. Press a little harder. The other thing is you want to make sure that you have it you see where that that black the, the blackish part is yeah. well that's from it being played it builds up like a resin yeah. so you want to make sure that you're coming like right about here down the front there you go that's good and then you're keeping that steady steady in that place make sure your thumb does not touch the bowl keep your fingers out fingers, there you go right there it goes Good. No, that's good. And then you slow it down. Right before you get too fast, there you go. And just keep it steady. Excellent. You're doing great. Yeah. Now just keep that, put that shoulder down. There you go. Relax. There you go. You're doing so well. I'm going to join you. You can close your mouth. It's okay. <laughs> hysterical. Yeah, there you go. Slow down, keep it steady. Ah, nice, nice, nice. Before you, before you, which call the chatter. Okay, nice. And you can, and then you can start going a little faster. You're a natural. You're great. Is that um, either air is coming in, or you're going too fast, or, oh. you, or you're skipping down too far? Okay. You want to keep it steady. Keep it up. It's not. It's not keeping steady. That's that's when the chat will come in. If it's okay. not steady, it's a focus it's and relax. Yes. Put the arm back down. Relax your shoulders again. Keep relaxing your shoulders. Keep on going around. Nice.
all bowls over here. Oh, that's beautiful. And there's there's more bowls around the side. Some very rare bowls. Oh, really? Yeah. A couple more. This is like Bowl City. So I can just comb your body with it. Oh, so if I maybe great. want to do a diagnostic or something, it's just. Oh. And you see, there's engraving on the side. And when there's engraving on the side like this, yes, um, it could be dedicated to a certain family or something. Or um, it, they're just there's the symbols. I don't know exactly what they mean. This is a very heavy bowl. It's called a money bowl or a beggar bowl. You can hear the richness in the sound. Yes. It's very heavy. sound of Kathmandu. It's like the temples and when you hear them when they, it, it's kind of like square but it comes out, the lip comes out. And mm. if you, if you're ever in the east and especially in Kathmandu and Nepal, Nepal with the temples and everything, it's like, to me I was like, that's the sound of Kathmandu. What I do, I don't know if it's going to sound like that now, but I combine the sounds. I have to be sitting to do it. Okay. Let's see what happens. Um, and what I do sometimes is play them. Because it's not on a, it's not on a pillow, so it's still kind of. Um, but in some meditations, it's like a calling for a call to spirit. And I'll play them at the same time. It's kind of hard to do it now because I'm not sitting and balanced in front of it. Right. And they're, they're not in the same position. So they're crossed from each other, and you get a harmonic that comes together. And it's like the East calling into the West. Wow. That's beautiful. You know, and, and especially when, you know, the vibrations from the people that are here are combined with that.
-hmm. Beautiful journey. Yeah. Dealing with, a lot with, it's the intellectuals, whether they're men or women, and some of the practitioners are the hardest ones because they're trying to figure out what you're doing. I'm just doing what spirit asked me to do. That's why I said, oh, you're this, you're that. I'm, I'm, so they're just analyzing it. Yes. They're in the head. Right. You gotta get out your head. Yes, you do. You gotta get out your head, you know, grounding. So it's also the motion and using sage. Sage is also a natural purifier. It is. Of negativity. Now, scientists have done experiments on it because of course they're not gonna believe in Native Americans. Of course not. What are they doing? Oh, I don't know. You know, are they using this stuff? You know, like, wow, guess what? It naturally clears the negative ions around. So scientists have found, have yeah. seen this in, in they did their experiment. Right. That's amazing. Yeah. You don't have to believe this. However, if you look at it, uh -huh. if you look at and I was like, this stuff is real. What? You know, if you look at it and right. listen to the messages. Yeah. Because there's different schools of thought, and they're all coming together. Yeah. And we're getting messages. You open up to the message, you'll get the message. Right. You'll start understanding it, that this is real. That there is, there are other universes. There are I'm going to go on vacation, and <laughs> I feel like I went on vacation. Yeah. I feel renewed. It's a renaissance. Yeah. It so, really is. I feel fantastic. Now that was a, sim a sample. Yeah. And it's just a sample. So a half an hour to an hour. And then once your body starts getting in tune and getting in tune and getting in tune, and sometimes it just takes less time. Like I, I have bowls by my bed and I'll just, oh, I need to play. So do people buy, If do you have people that come here and say, I want a bowl, how mm -hmm. do I get, mm -hmm. so how would a person get? I, I have some bowls for sale. You do, you sell bowls, okay, um, great. That's great to know. I have I have some that are left that are for sale. Okay. I, I kind of forget about it at times. Can I ask you, what the, is there an average price? Or are they all prices? Here's the thing. The price of metal has gone up for other planets. Other beings on other planets? Yeah. No question. Other beings, other planets, other... Which are, other, yeah. Other life forms. Other life forms. Which are quite ahead of us. We're a little slow. <laughs> which are, you know, much more ahead of us. But because of the way we're destroying everything yeah. here, and there are other planets that have been destroyed. I know I'm diverting from the... from what the, But anyway. Um, and the thing with sound, sound penetrates that are like, no, nah, I'm not going to work 9 to 5. That's not what I'm here to do. I'm not here to do what you told me to do. I'm here to find my purpose. And and we should be working. I used to say this, like, years ago, like, why, how come we don't work for what we're about? And for that, we exist and we live off of our purpose. And that's the way it used to be. And there's some cultures that still yeah, do that. that or hold, still have held on to that. Held on to that. But right. In the Western world, it's rare. It transcends. You got messages today that you couldn't tell somebody what it was, but your body understands it. So if this, a person was there and you communicate and you looked at each other and you, you would get the message, you got the sound. Mm -hmm. And you could communicate with, with the sound from your body. Mm -hmm. You know, so, you know, it's like the darkness is coming up. And the only way to penetrate it is to see it. Once we see it and know where it is, just by you shining your light breaks it. Now, I didn't make this up. This was, this was something that came through me as the goddess of light. And this was the message that she wanted me to give to the people that were experiencing this and, and um, about how we all have this light in us. We, we can choose to use the dark or the light. And some of us are still wavering. Right. But I have seen what she showed me. I have seen the light. It doesn't pen. It wasn't penetrating it like, whoosh, like breaking through like that. Right. It was dissolving it. It was like it would come through 
was it like a sheet of blackness and the person in the room said this room got really dark while that was happening it was like dark and then all of a sudden it started to light I said yeah and I'm like saying to this yes 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 to penetrate that darkness um, this was just coming through me now, I've never done that before I've had you know stuff come through me but not like that you know but um and it was the message that she was saying that each of us and you know what she said though going back to the men mm, okay yeah I All remember right. this she said this is the goddess of light she didn't give me a name I okay. asked her, what is your name yes and she just said I am the goddess of light I am I am I am she wanted me to refer, confirm I am yes it's the I am presence she said to tell them that each and every one of us has the goddess of light, has the divine feminine within us. Because the person who was doing this, who was supposed to be a student, who thought, I'm going to, because I'm a teacher of, it's Nine Ways Academy, and, and so I'm one of the teachers of meditation with the bowls. And he found he had to do me. So he's like, but he's been to India and everything. This guy is like, amazing. But just learning the bowls. And when he found he had to do me, he stayed up all night and had this, it looked like a cosmic sound contraption with bowls and gongs and, 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 and um, offerings of fruit and everything. I was like, what the? And I was sitting up. I wasn't laying down. You usually do what's laying down, and oh, I was yeah. sitting up. And he was calling in the divine feminine because this is the time for the divine feminine to come back. Oh, yeah. And we're calling, he was calling in the divine feminine. So the goddess of light wanted me to tell, the goddess of light came through. Yes. I don't know what kind of, he had this big bowl behind it. And, it and um, she said that each and every one of us has the goddess of light, the divine feminine in us. Mm -hmm. And then she laughed and she said, oh, yeah, even the men tell them even they have and then she looked at the men and her eyes were closed but I could see her look she looked at the men and she started laughing she said as a matter of fact they have more divine feminine in them than the women here that's really interesting so she's saying men are, are more balanced enough is that is that what well, she well I think the men in that room the men in that the men room when she said that and and I guess the men once you ignite that divine feminine, and they're not going to call it divine feminine, but that it's kind of like a feminine grace or an awareness of of who they truly are without being harsh or, you know, or having to mask it. I'm going to incorporate crystal with metal. This is a crystal tetrahedron. as a sample. So we're gonna we're gonna allow you now to just enjoy enough sampling. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna enjoy. start with a nice deep breath in. Sit where you're nice and comfortable. Okay. And, and and for this type of meditation you are allowed to move. Yes. This is not like you being the monk in the temple okay. where you don't move. Okay. Um but the movement should come from you not that you, you, from the permission that you're going to give yourself, yes. but not from you initiating the, the movement. 
or anything that happens. So you're giving yourself permission to do something we don't do too much in the West, and that's nothing at all. Hmm. That's kind of hard for us, because when you're doing nothing at all, and allowing something to happen to you, it's called being lazy hmm. here. Uh, <laughs> so in meditation, we allow what comes to us, and, and, and this meditation is a sound meditation. The focus is on sound. So you're allowing this sound to just come to you in the way that it's coming to you, without any expectations, without asking for anything, without even doing Reiki on yourself, and without you know, putting a mantra or anything into it. You, there is mantra meditation. Sometimes I do mantra meditation with the bowls, but this is just gonna be focusing on the sound and allowing the vibration and harmonics to come to you. We're only gonna do this for Maybe five minutes, not gonna be that long. Breathe in deep. And exhale nice and long and wide. Through your mouth. breath go back to its natural breath.
one way or the other. This is just one method. This is one method, you know. It, it doesn't resonate with everybody. That's fine. I'll just go somewhere else, you know. <laughs> but I haven't found too many people it doesn't. 